a team of special FBI agents was set up to investigate King. Arthur Murtaugh was one of those agents. What was Martin Luther King's code name at the FBI? Zero. Why? Well, because some of the filthy-minded agents that I worked with uh, believed that there was something about black people that uh, made them uh, different physically from a sex uh, angle than white men. And uh, the story of Zorro, I guess, uh, indicated something of that nature. America is the right to protest far right. There was constant surveillance of Dr. King day and night, both a physical surveillance and a technical surveillance. His office was bugged. Uh, the, uh, the wiretap in his office was operated from this room that I was in. That is, the, the, a couple of guys that I was working with uh, sent a daily teletype to the bureau to report on what came, on, uh, came in on the wiretap. And when he traveled around the country, they moved the wiretap and followed him. Uh, if he went to a hotel, they'd get the room next to him and bug the room, uh, that sort of thing. He was constantly under surveillance. Hoover had the power to investigate anybody that he felt was an enemy. The FBI launched a campaign to discredit Reverend King. We aren't going to let any may stop us. The COINTEL program was directed to try to destroy his char to character in the, view in the eyes of the public. The investigation on Martin Luther King was principally on his private life. He didn't have any particular political life. Uh, his political life was an open book. He made speeches in favor of uh, uh, getting rid of this, the archaic system of integration uh, all over the country, and he led groups in protest. Uh, that was the full extent of his political activity. Uh, the kind of things that they, were at, that they were interested in were the kinds of things that a tabloid paper would be interested in. But scandal wasn't enough. Carthage Deloach, the head of the FBI smear campaign, decided to go a step further. Deloach uh, had a letter prepared in the bureau uh, area where they forge letters and that sort of thing. And uh, he sent the letter uh, to Dr. King. And the content of the letter came out later. And uh, the letter was designed to encourage Dr. King to commit suicide. What were the uh, arguments? Well, the arguments were that if he didn't commit suicide, that the FBI had so much knowledge about him that if it were made public, it would destroy his family and it would uh, this, that, and the other thing. The letter the didn't phase Dr. This. King. He ignored the FBI threat. King came out against the Vietnam War, a war in which the majority of American soldiers were black. I'm convinced that it is one of the most unjust wars that has ever been fought in the history of the world. We're going to win our freedom because both the sacred heritage of our nation and the eternal will of the almighty God. King's anti-Vietnam speeches infuriated J. Edgar Hoover. So I have he beefed up the FBI's investigation of Reverend I King. Angry feelings on I had, at one time, about 18 uh, informants under the COINTEL program that were working among all the black groups and bringing information, sending it into a, a post office drop to me. I paid them and uh, wrote up the information, sent it into the bureau. The FBI knew second by second everything that Martin, uh, Martin Luther King did for 10 years before, uh, no, for eight years before he died on a moment to moment basis. Every move he made, ex except they say they didn't know anything about what happened in Memphis. <laughs> Well, I laugh because uh, <laughs> the, the chief of police in Memphis was a former inspector of the FBI, uh, had, uh, had retired from the FBI. He was in the position to quash anything that happened in Memphis. <laughs> 